During the Battle of the Eastern Solomons in August 1942, Battleship North Carolina and Aircraft Carrier Enterprise are found by Admiral Nagumo's first strike of 27 dive bombers and 10 fighters. Without the cover of combat air patrol, it was up to the anti-aircraft gunners to fend off the attacking planes. Because of cloud cover, gunners didn't spot the dive bombers until they pushed over, at which point the whole task force of nine ships opened fire. Filing in astern of the Enterprise, North Carolina's impressive anti-aircraft battery of 50 caliber, 20 millimeter, 1.1 inch, and 5 inch guns sounded like a steady drum roll as she laid a blanket of steel over the carrier. Witnesses were convinced she had caught fire. The intensity of the barrage astonished both sides. The planes attacked at intervals of 7 seconds for almost 4 minutes. The carrier twisted and turned at full speed, leaving the slower North Carolina behind. Planes foolish enough to take swing at the battleship paid a high price, as not a single plane that attacked North Carolina returned to its carrier.